Hey everybody, it's Dark Mario 1000, Warforce Force Fire, and to the Dragonfly GameCube version playthrough. In the last episode, we got up all the way to Cloud 9, up to this area. And I took the liberty of coming back up to these stumps. And this part, we're going to try getting even further to um, Cloud 9. Well, further in this world. So, let's head on to the Magic Rainbow! Uh, let's see, I've got a few things to talk about, like the new game, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I got Heart Gold. It's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I chose a Cyndaquil as my starter. And, uh, I have three gym badges as of right now when I'm recording, so... It's good, it's good. My friend Spiketail590, uh, he got himself Pokemon Heart Gold as well. So, you know, we just rock out whenever we can on the phone. It's actually, it's actually pretty cool. Well, now that we've explored every part of this stupid area, we can finally move on. About time to explore some other new features. Now, let me just warn you, right about now, let me just warn you. Uh, coming up next is may maybe one of the most parts where people die a lot. No kidding. And here's the reason why. Here it comes. Get ready. Are you ready for the super secret secret? Not secret anymore now. I'm telling you, I guess. This is the reason why. No, not the fucking rip talk. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about all of that. Floating. A lot of people will need to be masters at gliding and hovering in order to survive this area because it is not safe. I have my electric breath ready for any enemies that stand in my way. Like those two. Side by side together. Now let me just give you a description about the thunderclouds. They won't come near you unless they actually see you, so in order to avoid them, you would have to not let them see you. Like this. Ha! He didn't even see it coming. But once they see you can never- Whoa! I almost fell there. I don't want to get my first death in this world. I want to get my first death in a later world. If not, maybe in no world at all. So let's see. Once you see them, you can never- Well, you can't- They can't- You can't really unsee them, so... Hover and zap that guy. Gay star. I think. And there's a rip top up there, as you can hear. Oh. oh! Oh my god, I forgot it. Oh lord, help me now. Oh, hey there, buddy. You died. And you fell. Oh, got it. Oh, there we go. I'm so glad that I didn't fall that time. I'm so glad. Let's see, uh, did I ever mention that this computer, well, not computer, but this laptop microphone is very powerful? Whoa, that was close. This laptop microphone that's it. That has been um, already installed into the laptop. It's very, very powerful. Uh, I, it, it, I, I just can't seem to, you know, say anything else about it. It's kind of powerful. It can almost hear up to anything. It can hear up to my phone vibrating, a phone vibrating, anything. Okay, we've got into four minutes and like fifteen seconds in the video now, so. I think we it's time for us to catch another dragonfly. See there? Get that dragonfly! Fly, 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 hover! Don't fall because this is a nice place where you can just die. <laughs> Luckily I've played this game enough times to actually know when to actually, you know, how I can actually die. Anyway, if you fly from over here, you're not gonna die. You're just gonna we're just gonna just float safe to safety right here. And we get another dragonfly. Hey, 
Ah, uh, don't ask me about the Do not ask me about the Ice Boy name. Personally, I think they should not have named that Dragonfly Ice Boy. I don't know what came over the makers of this game's chat, like Pro Logic and Pro Logic. Well, yeah. Oh, Universal Studios. What has come over your head? Have you been drinking while playing this game? Because, like a lot of people say, Spyro, The Dragon 3, Year of the Dragon, was like the last best Spyro game. And I'm still trying to think of uh, that's a true thing. Oh! Oh! Now, as my charging abilities at bases where there's like places where I can die, not, I'm really not so good at. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, we've got six minutes down the line, that's nice. So let's talk to this bear. Hopefully, he's not a sick bear from Dragon Realms. These lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. So, can you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have a little mini we have a little mini game where we just have to shoot all the thunderclouds with our super flame breath. It's pretty simple. Here's one thing though. Make sure you don't go in the pool when all of them are there. And once you've gotten all of them, Talk to him again. Great job, Spyro. While you were taking care of the clouds, I found this flying thing stuck in one of them. He seems lost. I don't see how that got in one of them. Hey, it's not the hero. More Japanese. Can you swim to the next machine? I'm too scared of the water. Baby. Baby. You, you, you sick baby. Nah, I'm kidding. He's not sick, but he is a baby. Whoop! Still have my super flame breath. Didn't see that. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, it's about to run out. I really don't care. Just as long as I get my dragonflies. So let's swim, swim, swim. You remember these underwater bases? Yeah, the return of them comes back. Hopefully, after all this, we don't need to be swimming anymore. No, no, get the thing, Sparks. Get the freaking gem. Thank you. Uh, there isn't anything else to talk about, I guess. More like this laptop is kind of powerful. Uh, we're doing very well. Oh yeah, here's something else to talk about. Uh, should I keep doing Spyro into the draft by game conversion 100% playthrough? Because I mean, seriously, uh, I want to do the Donkey Kong Country GBA games, but I mean, if I'm gonna change it again, I have to stick with it and not change it again like I've been doing. Yeah, a lot of people die in that part. So, let's go. Come on. So, type in the comments below whether you think I should continue playing this game or do the Donkey Kong Country GBA game. Come on. Type in the comments below or send me a personal message. Oh, look. Spherical. Look at the strobe. Random strobing. I'm sorry. I had to do that. Oh gosh. Hey, get the thing, Sparks. Good. And look, there's our exit portal to home. Aww. Hey, look. Thanks for the help, Spyro. Here's a dragonfly for you. Hey, it's a And now when you try to talk to him, he's not going to really say anything. I guess the makers got lazy yet again. Wow. 
Well, this is awesome because now we've got all the machines. We basically put in the storyline of the store. But we still haven't figured out where our second challenge portal is. Which means it's time to keep exploring. Keep exploring. Oh! Keep exploring. Keep exploring. Okay, so I guess on the next episode, we'll see where we are. If you like this part of Spire to the Dragonfly Game Conversion playthrough, then why don't you subscribe to me? Subscribe right now to Dark Mario 1000. Check out my awesome series, The Adventures of Dark Mario, and check out all the other Spire to the Dragonfly Game Cube Version playthrough episodes that appear on YouTube. Find me, Dark Mario 1000. So, I'm Dark Mario 1000. See you guys later!